Now, we are going to share that Ken was, no surprise, lying for clicks and money. Make sure that we don't uh, miss anything here. Okay, Ken's claimed that he almost got hit by a car. Let's do it. Painkiller on Netflix is fantastic. Very, 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 very good. That guy passed. Did I get that on video? Wow. He almost ran me over. The driver that's in front has already noted that the driver behind him has begun to accelerate and is starting to pass. Everybody can see Ken. And so the driver that is being passed has already pulled over further to the right to give the guy who is going to pass more room. And as the guy who is passing gets closer, we will note that he's driving partially on the uh, line in the middle of the road to make sure he gives Ken lots of room. The driver that is being passed is pulling over to the right. So everybody with their lights on and great driving conditions notes that Ken is there and they're all getting out of his way. It's actually Ken who is causing problems going for his stupid walk on a highway. Everybody is working to avoid the idiot. What we have here is a bit of what we refer to as forced perspective. With this grab, there is a separation between Ken and the car, and you can see where it is, where a good portion of the bulk of the vehicle is over the center lane. And if you note the car that was passed, how far it now is over to the right. Everybody's making room for idiot Ken. The thumbnail that Ken produced did a grab where Ken and the car are together. So it makes it appear that they're much closer than what they really are. Drink, 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 donate. E-beggar. Drink, booze, hound. Drink, 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 donate. E-beggar. Drink, booze, hound. Drink, 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 donate. E-beggar. Drink, uh, happy birthday, booze, hound. Hack, e-beggar. Uh, I'm going to ride this uh, YouTube gravy train until the wheels fall off. Uh, donate, e-beggar. Donate, e-beggar. Donate, e-beggar. Gravy train. I'm not Muslim. Uh, I'm just a food channel that's running out of ideas. In the meantime, let's watch some TikTok. I'm a TikTok white Canadian. I'm a TikTok white. I'm a TikTok white Canadian. I'm a TikTok white. I'm not Muslim. Uh, I'm just a white Canadian white guy. Hitler flap. Thank you very much. White guy because I'm white. So the Japanese are horrible people. If I had a gun and you were right in front of me, I'd put the gun to your face. Ah. 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 Uh, I'm gonna ride this uh, YouTube gravy train until the wheels fall off. Uh, I think I've stalled. <laughs> if I had a gun and you were right in front of me, I'd put the gun to your face. Bitch. Uh, I did the uncut raw videos. Whether we win or lose, we drink booze. A British, a British, a British peanut. I have zero knowledge. I'm very uneducated. Is this your full time job? Yes. This is a business. Topper's Pizza. This is a business. Topper's Pizza. Uh huh. That sucked like shit. That sucked huge fucking shit. Do you enjoy doing food reviews as much or are you bored? I'm bored. I only promote things that I like. The Jackery, the Jackery, the Jackery, the Jackery, the Jackery, my Jackery, the 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 Jackery's working its butt off. Blue Eddie, this thing is absolutely amazing. Call me a, a sellout. Screw off. Tangy. Mmm. Tangy. Mmm. Tangy, 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 tangy. Tangy. I'm insane. Double, a double. Hi, can I get a medium Pepsi, please? Sorry? Medium Pepsi. There's a sign, there's a sign, there's a sign here saying turtles. Oh, oh, yep. yeah, oh. <laughs> This is my car. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Here we go. Ready? Oh no! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. It's totally messy, but yeah. the idea is you keep it in the. Wrapper. I know, I know. I want okay, to okay, see okay. it. But he wanted to eat this in the car. So I think we could have. No. Mm. I would have rocked my car. Mm. I'm not Muslim. Uh, I'm just a white Canadian Hitler flap. You see what I mean? Hitler flap. Thank you very much. Because I'm white. The Chinese are horrible, so the Japanese are horrible people. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Beautiful, 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 beautiful looking lunch. You are good at describing food. You really gotta stop that. You really need to stop that. How, how else to fix this? You really gotta stop that. You really need to stop that. <laughs> This is the dumpster that we, your mom and I found you in. Your real name was going to be called Waste Management. <laughs> yeah, I made more fucking money than you ever did. Got up, made my coffee, had one cup. So Ken had one cup of coffee. That is really amazing. Thanks for sharing that, Ken. And Dominic has a cup of coffee. He only has one cup. My sweater is starting to fall off. I Ken Dominic, his sweater is starting to fall off. Resonates. Get you more views. Jolly smile. So uh, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why your subs are going up steadily, gangbusters. Now, if you're a child, don't fucking watch this. Stop right there. We're not even two seconds in, and I have to stop it. Ken is pretending that he almost got hit by a car. And uh, what I want to set up first is that the idiot puts himself in danger and endangers motorists because this is not a residential street. Ken can walk all over his hood he has all kinds of automobiles he can go drive to a proper trail he can go to a gym and the silly putz is making a menace of himself and to others by walking on the highway uh, they're traveling at highway speeds this is not a residential street like 30 miles an hour and he's about to show his stupid feet on the pavement and I want to get that across first, okay? So let, let's, let's keep going. There you go. The clown is walking on the dang pavement. He shouldn't be there anyway. Unless it's an emergency and the car breaks down and has to get to a gas station or walk to the nearest civilization. It's not meant for, for walks and jogging and all the rest of that stuff. And all the other options I mentioned earlier. And there he is. Feet on the pavement. Doesn't belong there. You notice there's not a sidewalk? Yeah, there's for good reason. You're not supposed to be there. You idiot. So I'm going to now um, back it up. I'm going to do something that I just started to do recently. Which is his combination of boring footage and Ken Dominic music service is so pathetic that... I think we get another way of appreciating how terrible it is if I just run it without the Kendomic music service. And then we really can dig how lame this material is. Let's do that. Good morning. It is 10.23. Saturday morning. I've been walking for about 34 minutes. Which will make no difference. You've been doing this nonsense for years. Pretending to be a fitness junkie. Pretending to be into intermittent fasting. Pretending to be a health food advocate. We, we know what you are. You're just a washed up uh, feeder goof. 
You know, I'm learning how to, you know, put downs. So it just you, you, you're just into eating hordes of junk food, and that's it. That's what Ken Dominic brings to the table. You want to watch him eat a whole pile of crap? He'll do it for you, even though he doesn't want to do it. As long as he eats all of his shit on camera, he can write it all off. And yes, he will get a few thousand bucks a month doing it. You know, he's still getting, you know, over 10k clicks for each thing that he does. It's still garbage. He's still going down. Steadily going down while his subscribers... Why are his subscribers going gangbusters? I wonder why. I wonder why. I wonder why. So, he... He's not, you know, getting in better shape. His gut is bigger than it ever was. He never does live weigh-ins and follows up and uses his, um... Sometimes when he shows up for his weekly live stream, you know, 75% of the time, that would be the perfect place to start up a live weigh-in and have people follow it. He never does it. Never. He's not going to start either, okay? So he's always going to be talking... Speaking of talking, I'm talking too much. We'll move on very shortly. He's always going to be, you know, carrying, oh, look, I'm, I'm, look at all the steps I did. I'm going for a walk. And then the next thing, you're going to be in a parking lot eating carbs and sugar for like 16 hours before you drive back to the shack and get a night's sleep and take a dump in the toilet. And then you come back, oh, wow, well, <laughs> I slept there. <laughs> Whatever. It's just the same garbage over and over with this clown. Let's carry on. And uh, first got up, made my coffee, had one cup. So Ken had one cup of coffee. That is really amazing. Thanks for sharing that, Ken. C could you imagine if you came up to Ken and you had footage in your phone you want to show? Hey, uh, uh, Ken, no, let, let's pretend like it's a fan, right? Oh, Mr. Dominic. Yeah, what, what the fuck do you want, princess? Uh, hey, look at the footage. I, I, I had one cup of coffee. The fuck do I care? Leave me alone. Oh, don't you want to, like, check this video? No, I don't care. How much are you going to pay me? Fuck off. That's what Ken would do if you came up to him and said, you know, I had one cup of coffee. The fuck do I care, princess? So why would anyone care about him saying that to anyone else? I had a cup of coffee. Here, Ken, I'll, I'll, I'll do a song for you. Ken Dominic has a cup of coffee. He only has one cup. He's got to go for a hike and make a stupid stop. He's going to talk some bullshit, pretend to be an athlete. When all he ever really does is eat too much red meat. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, that was a freestyle jam. Okay, go back to it, Ken, please. Drank some of my element water. Drank 11 beers the night before you had that element water, which is the reason why you're gasping for breath at a very mild walk. And Carol, I saw her putting on her shoes. I'm like, you going for a walk? She's like, well... Do you know what's funny? The way Ken integrates Carol into the show as a fictional character he tells you about, you never see her on it anymore. <laughs> Same thing with Ben. He's always talking about Ben. And yeah, I know, Ben went on the hike. And uh, I haven't reacted to that. I don't know if I'm going to or not. The thing is, um, I gotta go through the whole thing. And I'm gonna edit it down. It's like, you know, Ben said about six words for the whole thing. <laughs> So, uh, you know, they're, they're not there. <laughs> he talks about them because now they're fictional characters who, uh, who don't want to be actually on the damn program with him. Uh, and he's going to talk about Ben later, too. I wasn't really thinking about it, but just wanted to put the garbage out. And I'm like, well, let's go for a walk. So we put the garbage out and then did about a kilometer together. And then I continues to walk. I'm like, I need to walk more. How many times has Ken talked like that over the years? Oh, I need to walk more. I need to get in better shape. I need to stop having all those sugary drinks. He's one of those losers that you have to give up on because all he does is uh, drain your resources uh, by getting you involved with him. He's not going to change, you know. He's as fat as he ever was. He's worse. Uh, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do some more walking. Like, shut up. You're just wasting everybody's time and interest. Just, you know, play with your watch and, you know, go eat carbs and sugar for 16 hours straight. And, oh, it's my crazy ass job. It was a cheat day. Like, you're not worth the interest. Just F off. And, uh, my right knee right now. Please shut up about your knee, okay, Ken? You do clickbait. You do it regularly. 
if you get people worried about your knee, you're going to get more clicks, you get more money, and then it's like, well, it's time to deliver. And, oh, uh, duh, I'm going to go on a giant hike. And, and even though you struggled through that hike and were gasping all the way and slowing uh, Matthew and uh, Paul down, you still did it, you know. Uh, your, your pendulous gut was all over the place and it was a disaster. And uh, you still did it. So, like, shut up about the knee. Like, either show us some scars or leave it alone with uh, trying to get attention for it. Is probably at a point zero one for irritating or pain or anything like that. So the last walk I did, which was like, can't remember how many kilometers that was, fourteen and a half, almost fifteen. Great content, having you guess at things and babble to yourself out loud. You're not even playing to the camera. It's like, why do you do this? I couldn't quite reach the fifteen mark. I started getting a pain in my left knee, not the one that's actually damaged. My sweater is starting to fall off. Had Ken Donick, his sweater is starting to fall off. Resonate. Get you more views. Jelly smack. Go bigger. You know, to be honest, I thought this reaction was going to really suck and uh, I wasn't going to have too much to work with because it's really just Ken walking on the side of the road. And the money shot is at the end where the car goes by and I'm going to show you that the car was nowhere near him. So on the way there, I thought I was going to, you know, be a, a drag, you know, more or less. And, you know, Ken is just so pathetic that he <laughs> makes it funny. All you got to do is, you know, just note that he, he wants to tell you, ah, my sweater is falling off. I had to let you know. <laughs> oh, what a loser. This on to start walking because it's, what's the temperature? I think it was like six degrees this morning. We have this waiting in the wings for whenever Ken wants to buy some fuel. Um, maybe we should do one for, you know, Grandpa gives you the weather report. Or is that like a little bit redundant? I don't know. I'm just, you know, just trying some ideas. Let's keep going. It's probably gone up to about seven or eight right now. But I walk fast because I like to burn a little more calories, get the heart rate up a little bit more than... Then you go back to the shack and catch up on your beer. And then three days later, you make a pig of yourself at a donut shop. And that's why what you're doing now never works. And then you just talk about it and pretend like you're getting in shape. And you never do. And then you just go eat some more garbage. Nothing new with Ken here. Just a leisurely walk. And I just did a hill back there. So yeah, I got my first coffee in. And uh, now I'm... Probably doing about a five to six, seven K walk. Turns out about seven and a half kilometers. Until you text Carol and say, fuck this shit, I've had enough, pick me up now. And then you just jiggle the watch in your pocket while you're waiting and then all the way back to the shack in the Elf Village. Then it's like, look at the watch. It's about an hour and 45 minutes approximately. So last night we launched the IHOP video. And I thank every single one of you guys for dropping by showing some support hitting that thumbs up after more than a decade and after having had a heyday following fads there he is still begging regularly as if he just started the channel like two months ago when's the last time you ever heard danny of rate my takeaway asking for all that shit like he doesn't do it you know he just does something that people really like and that's it that's the end of it there's no begging 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 leaving those amazing comments that you guys always leave. Hey Ken, how about instead of all the begging, decide that you're going to start making great content. You're just going to start with a clean slate and you're going to take your name and you're going to reinvent it and, and just make great stuff. <laughs> Look at what we're talking about. Ken Dominic. No, keep begging. Keep begging. Oh, and, uh, like and subscribe and uh, your amazing comments and ding 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 ding. Loser at the side of the road. You all, thanks for everything and, and, and the thumbs and the amazing comments that I don't even bother reading. Really, really appreciate it. And so does the restaurant. And I share that information back with them whenever we hit like a little milestone. Like your other sponsorships, IHOP Canada doesn't know what they're getting involved with. 
which is why they make a mistake when they see 600k subscribers and they don't bother to shop for your live streams that get about 150 attendees and you get about 30 losers in your live chat. They just don't know. They don't understand. It's like the guy in Bradford who is always considering you to be some sort of a celebrity, like as if you're going to promote his business. Maybe I'll help you the car. Like, no, it's all right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Burger King promotes Burger King. They don't need Ken Dominic, Shaq in the Elf Village, uh, terms of service breaking, dangerous binge drinking loser. We drink booze. We drink booze. We drink booze. We drink booze. To promote them. So, uh, I don't know why, I don't know why, I don't know why your subs are going up steadily, gangbusters, while overall your views are going down. Some people get fooled by it. And, uh, can't remember what we were at this morning, but, uh, it's over a thousand likes. And, I think it's over the 10,000 views, I think. I'll have to check when I get back. But thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. It's always nice. Like I said in the last video I did at IHOP, you know, I did the 24 hours, didn't ask for their permission, had no, they recognized me, that's why. Notice the fake little laugh he put in there to make you believe the lie that they recognized him. Uh, he's not enjoying real joy for that fake laugh. It, it, it's trying to get across it. <laughs> Everywhere I go, they recognize me. <laughs> And they recognize me and it's like, hey, Ken, you're famous. We, we need to work with you right away. Um, Ken is the one that contacts everybody. And his spiel is just what it says like on his official website. Oh, I'm a powerful influencer. And uh, Here, I'll run it a few times and you'll get how fake it is. They recognize me. They recognize me. They recognize me. They recognize me. That's why they asked me to come back to do this reviews because they like my videos they like how i shoot it they like me so they wanted to work with me to promote their restaurant location and so uh it all works out in the end right <laughs>
Everything else is coming from the food bank, probably. Because he's barely getting by. You can trust Ken. When he says he's barely getting by, he means it. When he bought that redundant Apple Watch, very expensive, when he said he saved up for it, Ken doesn't lie. Really, he had to save up for it. He earned that watch, eating chicken sandwiches for who knows how long. So, when he's asking for support, you should pitch in. When it comes to the the, uh, the perks that you'll get, you guys remember that um, earlier this year, Ken reposted a picture of himself with a mug that he had posted a year before. He just recycled it and said, Happy Canada Day, eh? If you join Ken's Patreon, you're going to get that same picture that was recycled. It will be unlocked. You get access to the premium content that he already gave away anyway. It just, it, it, this is what you're going to get. If you give Ken Dominic your money, don't give it to yourself, your family, your friends, or charity. Send the money to Ken because he needs it. He's barely getting by. Alright? He needs support. Please, if you have any money hanging around, we know how pesky money can be. Just give it to Ken because he needs it. Cooked up some mushrooms too. So I added mushrooms to it with uh, 30 grams of butter. And uh, it was probably one of the best steaks I've ever cooked. Even when Ken is preparing an expensive cut of meat for himself, he still says it's probably one of the best. Like, he does it automatically, even for something that he can't get a sponsorship from. He never names anything as the best, which is one of the reasons why his channel is so boring. And uh, it was probably, it was perfect. I like to have undercooked it just a little bit more. And uh, Ben was watching me through this whole process. Ben was not there for the whole process. That's why Ken's doing that fake laugh to make it sound like, Oh, that Ben, <laughs> he was watching me doing it. <laughs> no. They're fictional characters on a channel they do not want to be part of. Like, walking back and forth, doing his own thing, and he, uh, he said maybe next time, uh, instead of just, say, three minutes, with a very hot skillet, or very hot cast iron pan, you, three minutes on one side, three minutes on the other side, and then some of the videos I watch, they say, turn it down to low, add your butter, garlic, thyme, or rosemary, whatever you like, and, uh, and then... Just imagine what Ken looks like to somebody driving by. This clown on the side of the road, babbling into a camera with one hand, and making weird gestures. What is he doing? He's making content for the saddest audience you could ask for. The pathetic people that watch his vlog with no irony. After a while, somebody such as Ken with a bad personality really enjoys playing them for fools and asking for money to be sent to him. He needs support, right? He's talking about an expensive steak he just had. He's wearing a very expensive Apple Watch that he didn't need. And, oh, uh, thanks for your support. You rock when you give me your money. I based it like crazy. So I did that, but I, I kept the cast iron still too hot because the cast iron it, it takes a very very long time for it to cool down how is that funny do you know anybody in your own lives that is always laughing at things that are not funny they're really irritating what they shouldn't do is record themselves while they do it so ben's thought was to uh, you know at that six minute mark just pull it right off just shut the, the heat right off Maybe pull it off that area. I know it's a gas stove, but those little elements that it sits on, they're still hot too, right? So pull it off, put it on a cooler side, add your butter time. If it starts to cool down too quickly, maybe get back in there and, and get some heat on it to get things going again. When I started cutting into it, I was like, oh, crispy. What a life this guy has got. Never had a tough job in his life. He's been basically retired for the last 12 years on a YouTube fad that did work. And now, even 
with his has-been status, it's still worth a few grand a month. Sits around the house, drinking beer, shooting footage of expensive steaks, and asking you to give him your money. On the outside, juicy and tender. On the inside, like I said, it was one of the best steaks I ever ate. Not only does Ken have no self-awareness, which is why he publishes this, he has no awareness for anybody else. Right now, Canada has terrible inflation. Here is Ken flexing his expensive cuts of meat, and he expects you to give him your money. And that's all I ate last night. I had that, the mushrooms, the butter. I was going to add eggs and bacon to it, but I didn't need to because it was like one and a half pounds of amazing beef. 11 minutes. Who watches this? A dildo in the middle of nowhere, babbling to his watch and not even looking at the camera while he does so, publishes it and some fool watches it with no irony and he actually gets a few hundred bucks out of his vlog channel every month. 38 seconds. So when I, when I book it uh, on my walks, I can usually get just under the 10 minute mark per kilometer pace. So I can get some nine, I think the fastest I've ever got was like nine, just under 9.30. So nine minutes, 30 seconds. By the way, the audio is for shit because Ken refuses to mic up because he doesn't appreciate the audience even one little bit. You get what you get with Ken, which is making it a mystery as to why anyone would pay attention to him without irony on a reaction channel in one kilometer which is i think my fastest pace but uh it's hard to keep that pace going without jogging <laughs> so either tonight or tomorrow i'm gonna cook up that prime rib remember the domics are barely getting by here people please send support again i rewatched the the video i'm gonna have to watch it again let's take little notes i think he said four either 425 I know this material is not the strongest, okay? I'm working with what I've got to work with here. It's, it's, it's Ken on the side of a road. And we are going to have some fun towards the end when he, you know, s lies and says he almost got hit by a car. It is coming. For 450 for the temperature of the stove. And again, I think he robbed. Sorry about the wind. The fucker is not sorry about the wind. If he was sorry about it, then he would fix it fast and easy. And it's just that if you have an audience of idiots and you're a bad person, such as Ken, then over time you're going to resent your audience even though they are producing an income for you. So Ken is not going to be bothered. It's like, why do that? Why take a minute to mic up for them? He resents having to do it for them. I've already shown you a couple of guitar channels and JP all using the cool new DJI wireless. Well, here's another guitar channel who's using it too, with two people at the same time. Talk about all things guitar, the Dario, Marshall, Gibson, Joe Bonamassa. Exactly. So our Ken carries on pretending to apologize for the wind when he really couldn't care less because he really couldn't care less about the content that he produces. Uh, the Dijon mustard, put garlic all over the top, put the whole thing of thyme on top covered it for a specific amount of time and then uncovered it for a specific amount of time so i think you need it to bake in its own heat and juices and then to crisp up the exterior of it then you take the lid off i guess it's like a turkey right all those years of watching my mom cook turkey it's just like oh okay i get it our ken is going to mix it up a little bit while he gasps for breath and tries to recover from a quiet walk and uh, shoot some amazing A-list footage of a ditch and there's some litter that he probably left the last time he was there because he pretends to be an environmentalist and has several vehicles he doesn't need and it's all about the fast food industry and making a mess let's get into that Ken Dominic music service after I ate my steak and mushrooms here when I watched uh... this here is senior living channel material although it's not 
helped by running it slow. It's just Ken letting us know that he and his retiree wife are watching lots of television and they uh, wanted some movie last night and it was a little bit too violent for them and, you know, they they didn't like it. They were a little bit disappointed. It was, you know, a little, a little bit too violent and you see how it, it's senior living. It just, I, I can't run it slow. So, um... While he complains about that, I'll, I'll put the, the graphic on. A few episodes of Superstore. I think we're on season two or three. And uh, then I, there's only so many of those you can do in a row. So after we had our laugh watching that, uh, we watched uh, American Assassin. And uh, it was a little more violent than Carol anticipated. <laughs> It's like, oh, Michael Keaton, oh, it's going to be fun, it's going to be good, and action, lots of action. But uh, there were some pliers and nail pulling scenes, and some uh, graphic stabbings, <laughs> and torches were used. You know, a hand torch that you're supposed to use for plumbing, but uh, this guy used it on a body, so... <laughs> Beware if you're sensitive to that kind of stuff. Other than that, good movie. And the bad guy in that, I'm like, oh, I recognize this dude, 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 dude. And so at the end of the movie, went into IMDb. I'm like, I gotta figure out who this guy is. Are you so familiar in the back of my head? Where, what have I seen of him recently? Because it just seemed like I just saw him. But, uh, looks similar but different you know and uh so it turns out he was the mechanic who gets addicted to oxycontin in painkiller uh and that's a i think a six episode series with matthew broderick and it's all about how bad oxycontin 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 was and how many people died and, and uh, anyway he played the mechanic who is like kind of the main um, person who gets addicted to it so 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 if you're looking for a small series you don't have to invest a whole lot of time in painkiller on netflix is fantastic very 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 good that guy passed oh was that it I was so bored, I was playing with the racket made by the cars as they went by. Uh, okay, so, um, let's, uh, here's the big payoff. Uh, let, let, let's back it up and, uh, uh, make sure that we don't, uh, miss anything here. Ken's claim that he almost got hit by a car. Let's do it. Painkiller on Netflix is fantastic. Very, very good. That guy passed. Did I get that on video? Wow, that's why I should walk over as far as possible. But that guy passed a car knowing that I was on the road. Holy shit. So that was the end of Ken Domic's critical analysis, which provided for him the impetus to publish the clickbait title, quote, He almost ran me over, close quote, with a thumbnail that says, Look out! Now, we are going to share that Ken was, no surprise, lying for clicks and money. You don't have to invest a whole lot of time in. This here is where both cars start to become part of the footage. They're far away from Ken, and because Ken is the asshole who is going for a stupid walk on a highway, even though they're very far away, they're traveling at highway speed. So... The driver that's in front has already noted that the driver behind him has begun to accelerate and is starting to pass. Everybody can see Ken. And so the driver that is being passed has already pulled over further to the right to give the guy who is going to pass more room. And as the guy who is passing gets closer, we will note that he's driving partially on the uh, line in the middle of the road to make sure he gives Ken lots of room. Painkiller on Netflix is fantastic. Note that the driver 
of the vehicle doing the passing has his tire on the center lane and part of the bulk of his vehicle is now hanging over on the other lane. The driver that is being passed is pulling over to the right. So everybody with their lights on and great driving conditions notes that Ken is there and they're all getting out of his way. It's actually fucking Ken who is causing problems going for a stupid walk on a highway. Everybody is working to avoid that fucking idiot who shouldn't be there and who should be at a gym or on a trail someplace. So he's in no danger. Everybody's taking special care to avoid this stupid fucker while he's doing his stupid vlog on the side of a highway. What we have here is a bit of what we refer to as forced perspective. With this grab, there is a separation between Ken and the car, and you can see where it is, where a good portion of the bulk of the vehicle is over the center lane. And if you note the car that was passed, how far it now is over to the right. Everybody's making room for idiot Ken. The thumbnail that Ken produced did a grab where Ken and the car are together. So it makes it appear that they're much closer than what they really are. After Ken carries on and says he just passed, he puts the camera more on himself and you can see how deep he is on his side of the road. He was never in any danger. Very good. That guy passed. Did I get that on video? Our Ken did not leap in two seconds to his side of the road. He merely turned the camera on himself to ask if he got that recorded. Now you can note how deep he is and how far away from the white line he is. He was never in any danger of being hit. Wow. That's why I should walk over as far as possible. But that guy passed a car knowing that I was on the road. Holy shit. What the fuck do you expect him to do? That is what highway driving is, you jackass. When he commits to the pass and begins to accelerate and he signals to the driver in front of him, when he makes the lane change, if he starts messing around, that's when things get dangerous. That's when he confuses the driver in front of him, the driver behind him. Anything could happen. It's a highway, Ken. It's not a garden path, you moron. If you want to go for a walk, walk in the hood. If you want a bigger walk, go to the gym. You have plenty of automobiles to take you there. An idiot on the side of a highway babbling to himself into a camera while people are driving at highway speeds. What you have is a personality that wants quick, easy, viral clicks and cash all the time. And when you find any opportunity, you go for it. Even grabbing your own son. Beginner snowboarder breaks collarbone! Yeah, it didn't work. You gave it a try, though. What the heck? It's only your family, right? And so with this, you're lying. You were not about to get hit by a car. You were the one actually causing problems. Yet, you want to spin everything around and put yourself at the center of attention because you're thinking, oh yeah, go ahead and lie to the people. It's not a federal offense and I'm going to get lots and lots of money for doing it. Just get lost. Go play golf. Eat your chicken sandwiches. Stop trying to put yourself in the spotlight because you do not deserve it. Wow. That's why I should walk over as far as possible. But that guy passed a car knowing that I was on the road. Bullshit, Ken! You lying piece of garbage! That driver was cresting a grade at the moment he began to make his lane chains. He could not have seen you. In addition to that, he had a truck headed for him at the same time he was going with his opportunity to pass. So at first, he could not have seen you. After he was in the act of passing and accelerating and on the other side of the highway, he moved as much as he could into the middle to avoid you as much as possible. You putz! Dang it! What are you doing here? You're not creative. You don't bring joy. You just follow trends, which you got lucky with and now you're a has-been. And now, it's whenever there's an opportunity to tell lies and go for viral video, lots of easy clicks and cash, you try for it. What an embarrassment you are to have here. Just Go play golf, eat chicken sandwiches, get off the platform, please and thanks. Holy shit. 
I'm like, why is that guy going so fast? He's passing somebody with a pedestrian on the road. Yes, Ken, he is allowed to pass. That is what highways are designed for. With a pedestrian on the road, total craziness, people! With an asshole on the road, endangering everybody, making a worthless, stupid vlog. Again, go walk in the hood or drive one of your vehicles at highway speed on the highway to a gym and you can have your exercise all day long. By the way, I've got unconfirmed reports that perhaps that could be Carol driving Moose back to the shack after a liaison with Skinny. Don't quote me on that. Now, Ken, would you please just shut up so we can finish this? I just like, when there's no cars coming towards me, no cars coming towards me, I like to walk just on here. It's just, I can get a, a faster pace. My feet aren't slipping, but I just learned a lesson. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm gonna, uh, I prefer life. I choose life. And I'm gonna start, just walk on the dirt. Walk on the dirt. So we're up to 52 minutes. I burn about 300 calories almost. My heart rate's 99 at this pace. And uh, come on, watch. My average pace is 10 minutes and 55 seconds. I stopped to videotape a couple things. No, you didn't stop to videotape anything because no videotape was ever used. Would you get your effing booze soaked head out of your Betamax? Please and thanks. My watch keeps shutting off. Gotta make that longer. And we're almost at five kilometers, so we'll be definitely doing 10,000 steps. I just did a nine minute and 55 second kilometer pace, which was good. Nine minutes, 50 seconds per kilometer. Hang on one minute. I'm going to scratch this in my editor and use my vocal mic to find what we get because I don't want to like do all the work of editing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a screen grab and I'm going to crop it. And I'm going to give you an example of what Ken Domic content is. <laughs> Nice. An hour and a half, 555 calories. Split 10, split pace. Less than one minute to go. Please hang on. Even though Ken is finishing week, we still had fun. Nine minutes, 54 seconds per kilometer. Good. Made it back home. The shack in the Elf Village. With an ugly driveway stuffed full of giant vehicles. The neighbors must hate him. And uh, I managed to do 10 kilometers in an hour and 45 minutes. And my splits were 10.25. The turtle mumbles into his watch and publishes footage of it. And some fools pay extra for it. Burned 622 calories. Total today, 837 calories. Funny that all we ever hear from Ken is, I'm burning calories, I'm burning calories, I'm burning calories, I'm burning calories. Then when he puts on something that reveals what his physique really is, the giant pendulous gut is all over the dang place. Well, there you go guys, just uh, out for a nice Saturday walk. With your reckless stupidity almost causing an accident, if there had been more traffic on the side of the highway you were on, while people are trying to give you extra room because you don't belong on the fucking highway, you clown. How about you take that wheel in the back, put pedals on it and some grease, and use it as a hamster wheel. And stay there. And do that. Please and thanks. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Holy shit. Is that it? That's it. Bridges penis. <laughs> double, double. That sucked like shit. That sucked huge fucking shit.
White Canadian. The Japanese are horrible people. White Canadian. The Japanese are horrible people. White Canadian. The Japanese are horrible people. Tangy.